Hello, my friends. Today, I want to show you how to unclog a toilet that is clogged without using a plunger. So, <clears throat> I really, like, I was watching, I looked at other stuff, I didn't really see something that I, it just, I need to show you, like, a good way to do this. Okay, just so, for a little background, I've, um, I've been in the cleaning business a long time. I've uh, started a pressure cleaning business, bought a pressure cleaning business, bought a window cleaning business, and about two janitorial cleaning businesses. We took care of a, a church and a preschool, and we've, I've dealt with so many stuff as well, but this is a unique way to unstop a, a, a toilet. So first of all, I don't want to wait till the toilet's clogged up to show you, and that, that might be kind of repulsive and disgusting if it was like a natural clog, you know? Um, but I want to go ahead and tell you, so basically, if you're having trouble with a clog, if you have some things in the toilet, that you can go ahead and use one of these to just to get some of the bulk out. You might want to do this instead of just trying to, if it's already clogged, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Um, <clears throat> there might be so much that it's kind of hard to uh, actually, you might as well just take out what you can, like have a trash can or something right here and gloves and just kind of scoop out what you can. And that can help you to, that can be a help. So first of all, um, you want to use a combination of hot water and soap. Now, for instance, there could be a couple different things if it's clogged. One, the water level might be risen up really, really high. Okay, so if it's if it's if that's the case, you may not be able to go ahead and pour hot water in it. Okay, so in that case, you would just need to go ahead and take some soap. Okay, take soap. You might want dish detergent. I really like um, Dawn, but take your take your soap and go ahead. And you don't want to be using too less soap than what you need. So just go ahead and like just squirt it in there. Okay. Now you may need to give it some time after you do that. Like if, if the water level is really, really high, I mean, you might even want to just take the lid off and just kind of just, you know, put a bunch in there and let it sit, like let it sit for a while. You might need to let it sit for like 10, 20 minutes. Okay, that's if the water level is really high, you want to start working working down. Now, if the water level has kind of been dropping, like maybe you, you go to it and the water level is like low, you can still go ahead and put soap in it, but then, then that means that gives you an opportunity to go ahead and pour like hot water in it. You don't, you might not want to use boiling water because it might crack your toilet possibly. So you want to go ahead and do hot water. Now I, I actually, <clears throat> some places online, they might just say, hey, just put hot water in it. That just didn't seem like the best way to me. Um, I've been in the cleaning business for a long time, a um, hundred years or less, probably less. I got hot water, but I went ahead and put soap in it and then it was kind of like mixing in while I did it. So I want to go ahead and just pour some hot water in. <clears throat> now, if I dump it in fast, it's just going to flush. So basically, there needs, needs just, there's a couple things you should know. One, if I just go ahead and dump a large volume in, uh, say if I'm trying to unclog it, and I let's say I've been letting the soap work, um, it's going to probably flush. Now, maybe you haven't let it sit. Maybe you want to let it sit longer. So then what you would want to do is just pour like a small amount in to just go ahead and like let it kind of sit in there for a while and let the hot water and the soap just kind of sit, okay? And you don't have to get something so big. You can get like a pitcher. This doesn't have soap mix in it, but you can just use like a pitcher to like put hot water in as well. And then you could like let it sit, the hot water and the soap just kind of working in, in the toilet. And then, um, this might save you a lot of money, by the way, if you were gonna hire a, a plumber. So you can just kind of let the soap kind of sit in there and it kind of like grease, like can kind of like smooth the pipes if that makes any sense, just, you know, just to kind of like let stuff flow through. But after it's been sitting a while, you can come in and you can take a, a plunger and I've done a video showing how to like clog and unclog a toilet. You can use a, a plunger to do it. That's one thing, but let's see if we can do it with pretty much just, let's just start off with this. Let's go ahead and put a large volume. So basically remember, if you're going to flush it, you just do a quick volume of water all at once. If you do it slowly, it's not going to probably flush. So I just want to go ahead and take this and it should flush when I do this. This is actually hot soapy water and just pour it in just like this. And it should flush. You couldn't even right hear it because of all the bubbles. So it did flush and that should really like help you. But I would recommend trying to get some of the big, if there's a bunch of extra stuff out, you know, try to get that out first because that can really help you. Obviously you want to like wear gloves. Um, let me know what you think um, in the comments. I've done a lot of uh, videos, like how-to videos. I have over 2,000 videos and live streams up. But I would just say soap. I personally like this and hot water and use it in combination. And if it's, if it's already full and it's not going down at all, 
you might just have to put this open first. Um, if it's down low, you can still put this open first if you want to, but then you could add like a little bit of hot water just to kind of help the whole mixture thing. And if like, let's say it's full of water and you go ahead and you're just like chucking soap in it and it's hot, you know, like when it's like that and you can't really add hot water, then what you can do is then you can just kind of let it wait, just wait, give it some time, maybe 20, 30 minutes, just let it like, let the water, the soap just kind of go down there and, you know, smooth things out. And then even if you did have to plunge it, it should be a lot easier, but you should be able to unclog a toilet just with soap and hot water. Um, and if it's really serious, you might have to call a plumber, but you should, you should, hopefully you can do this without a plumber, just soap and hot water. It does work. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. You're amazing. Please subscribe to our notifications. Um, have a good one. And what I was using was basically, um, done. So, uh, thank you all. Love y'all and bye.